Hello friends, Chris Oliver here. Um, much less giggly this time, a little more confident in my message. Uh, I just wanted to share an experience I had. I've been trying to contact as many people who I think might possibly believe my uh, crazy story. And uh, one of the people I contacted was Art Bell, who used to run uh, was it Coast to Coast AM. Uh, he's been replaced by a woman named Heather who now runs, uh, it's called uh, Midnight in the Desert is the name of the new show. Well, anyway, I sent both of these people an email and Heather responded and asked me to call in this evening because she was very interested in what I had to say. And I was very excited about this, like finally, just, you know, the smallest of platforms is at least a platform. I have a truth, I have to get it out, I gotta use whatever medium I can come by, right? I was, I was thrilled, I was thrilled. And I thought, you know, Midnight in the Desert, <coughs> they are you know, they specialize in this kind of crazy story, right? They do aliens, they do Bigfoot sightings, they do they do all these crazy stories. So I thought it would be a really good fit. So I call in, and uh, I sit on hold for about 10 minutes or so, uh, listening to the show as it unfolds, and I'm already starting to realize what's going on as I'm listening to uh, this message, to or to the show. And she's talking about, you know, a Bigfoot sighting, and... Uh, uh, that's really all I can remember at this point is something about a Bigfoot sighting and a dog and why didn't the dog bark at the Bigfoot and move away and she was questioning the uh, the footage the the evidence of it and uh, yeah well, anyway let me finish my story and then we'll, we'll get to the we'll get to the story before the conclusion it is the proper way to tell a story so finally I was waiting about 10 minutes and I was finally allowed on the air and given a chance to speak and so I basically told her and everyone the uh, the same things that I've been saying here that the uh, the demons are here the demons are real they occupy our government they run our media uh, they at the, are at the top of our militaries they are we are infested <laughs> we are literally infested spiritually with these demons and I made it very clear that no one is to attack them they do not need to be hurt and you'll hear me say this over and over and over again there's no need to be afraid of these things. They can not hurt you. They can not hurt you. They can scare you. They're real, real good at scare you. They can manipulate your senses, but they cannot hurt you. Nothing can hurt you. You are eternal. I'll save that spiel for, <laughs> for later as well. Let me finish my story. Midnight in the desert. So I'm giving my spiel, <coughs> and then um, Heather asks how I came about this knowledge, and uh, that is a very valid question. And I started to explain about how about a month ago I had fallen into a web of conspiracy, and I had started. Uh, it, it all started with the uh, Senate testimony of MK Ultra. There's some footage on YouTube of two women sharing their experiences, uh, their, their horrific experiences, uh, in the name of the U.S. government, uh, in the in the name of uh, mind control, and. Uh, it's, it's a horrific story, but it's very much where I started, and my housemate is watching TV, so let me close my door. <coughs> Correction, he's watching Bill Hicks, which is much more proof. You need some truth, you go to Bill Hicks. We all should have been listening to Bill Hicks a lot sooner. So anyway, Heather had uh, asked me how I'd come about this knowledge, and uh, I was trying to explain how I'd fallen into a web of conspiracy, starting with MK Ultra, uh, and then just proceeding through Ted Gunderson, Chip Tatum, uh, Bill Cooper, Phil Cooper, Phil Cooper, um, and 9-11, uh, and of course, the, <laughs> the, the biggest honeypot of conspiracy. And that's when she started arguing with me. That's when she started defending the official story that two planes brought down seven buildings. People, two planes did, did not bring down seven buildings. You know this. You know this. But that day was so, so terrifying, so terrifying that we were all so afraid that we, we bought the official story because we needed a boogeyman. We needed someone to blame. And there was the U.S. government with a handy boogeyman that they had prepared well in advance. Well in advance. Um, well, anyway, and that's when she started talking, uh, uh, arguing with me, and started going off about, oh, people talk about Building Seven, and 
just I'm going to skip all of that because the trivial details of all that are not important. And I started to trying to explain that you know the the buildings had been destabilized on a molecular level, and I know this from the research of Dr. Judy Wood. And as soon as I mentioned Dr. Judy Wood, the host cut me off. That was that was the end of my story. I was not allowed to talk anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I uh, went on the air or not. I, I would be sincerely shocked if any of that actually went out. Um, but yeah, as soon as I was trying to logically explain how I had come to know these things, uh, as much as I'd love to just jump straight to I've gone into the desert and passed the test of Christ, that's unbelievable and people want to see the logical path and that's reasonable. That is perfectly reasonable. I am here to happily explain the logical path that brought me here as, as best I can. Just please ask questions. Ask questions and I will answer anything I can. Um, well, anyway, so the point of my story is after having that experience, it is just pretty much solidified how much they control our media, how much they present every option. You know, they control the dialogue by controlling the media. This is a very important thing to understand, that our elections are there to keep you distracted. It doesn't matter what candidate A or candidate B says. Candidate A and candidate B are only being presented to you to divide us as a people. The only reason we have elections is to divide us as a people. It's the only reason we have governments and nations and a whole lot of other stuff. So, <clears throat> when I say they control the media, I'm not being paranoid. I'm encountering direct resistance to a simple truth. A simple truth. Hello, friends. Are you human? We have to sound like idiot robots for a little while. That's it. But once you know just how much is being hidden from you, once you know how beautiful this world really is, this world is so beautiful. This world is so beautiful. And that is what I want to show you. Uh, we have been deceived by the greatest of deceivers. And it is a brilliant strategy that has been unfolding for a long, long time. But I tell you, once you see through all the lies that have been blinding us, it is it is a beautiful, perfect world. It is a beautiful, beautiful, perfect world with everything we've ever needed. I love you.